Today we're going to show you how to wire up a LiPo battery to a LiPo balance charger and then show you the correct wiring order when making those connections. Now wiring up a LiPo battery to your charger may seem like a no-brainer if you've been doing it for a while, but for new people it can be kind of challenging with all the wires and different connections on what to wire up and at what time. Now the connection order that we're going to talk about in this video is the same order outlined in the ProTech manual, so you can always use that for reference. Now in our example today we're going to use the Prodigy 610EZ, it's the ProTech charger. If you're using a different brand of charger then you may want to consider Consult with your manual to see what the steps are, but this, uh, but these steps we're going to outline in this video are pretty universal. So we're going to start with our 610 easy. We're going to plug it in on AC, wire up the battery, and then we're going to go over um, wiring up a power supply to a charger and then your battery. So. First things first, with our 610EZ, we have our AC cable, our charge lead, and our balance board. So the very first step we're gonna do is plug in our AC cord to the charger, and then we can just plug the charger in. We have a power strip right here, so we're gonna plug the charger in. So it's really important that once the charger turns on that we make sure that it's on the correct battery chemistry. So since we're using a LiPo battery, we want to make sure this is in LiPo mode. So this by default goes right into LiPo. So we're going to hit start. And now we're at the screen where we can make all of our parameter adjustments. So the next step is then just plugging in your charge lead. And then our balance board. Now it's important to have a charge lead with a connector that matches your battery. Since we're using a T-style, we're using a T-style charge lead to match our battery, but you need to have yours match if they're different. So now that our charger is all wired up, we lastly just need to wire in our charge lead and our balance board, and it doesn't necessarily matter what you do first. So we're just going to plug in our charge lead. And then since we're using a four cell battery on our balance board, which has six cell through two cell, we need to make sure we plug it into two cell or into four cell. If you're using a different cell count, always make sure it's plugged into the correct port on the balance board. So for our four cell, that's kind of in the middle of the board here. And there we go. And at this point, we can make all of our adjustments on the screen, start the charge, and we're good to go. Say the battery is now finished charging. Now, how do we disconnect it? Uh, after you would hit stop on the charger, you can just simply disconnect your balance and your charge lead or vice versa. The priority there isn't as important. Now we can just set the battery aside and it's done. With the charger, all we'll need to do at this point is just unplug it from the AC and now we can put it in our pit bag, we can leave it on our pit table if we want to. This thing is good to go. Now you can unplug these just to make this a little bit more portable in your pit bag, but make sure that you plug them in when you're ready to charge first. Just the same priority as we did um, here. You don't necessarily have to have it plugged in, um, but you want to make sure that you plug all of this stuff in before the battery. And a quick note, it's worth mentioning that this end of the AC cable is meant to be plugged in and out over and over where the other end that goes into the charger is not. All right, now we have a DC setup where our charger, instead of being plugged into the outlet, the AC outlet, we need to plug it into this power supply. So we're just gonna start our connection in our wiring order, beginning with the power supply, ending with the battery, like in the first example. So the very first thing we need to do is plug in our AC cable on the back to our power supply. And then once that's plugged in, we're just gonna plug it into the power. And this particular power supply has a switch. Some do, some don't. If it does, turn it on at this point. So now that it's on and it's regulating power, we're gonna go ahead and connect in our DC charger. And our charger fires right up. Let's see, program select. So we need to select the LiPo mode since again, we're charging up a LiPo. And now I'm gonna hit enter. 
And now we're at the screen where you can make all the parameter adjustments and I'm just gonna set the charger alone and we're gonna connect to the rest of our pieces here. So our charge lead needs to go into the front and to follow is our balance lead or our balance board. And now we're finally ready to connect in our battery. So let's do that. Charge lead, then our balance, and we're set. We can make all of our adjustments. We can start our charge. We're good to go. Now say we're done with our charge and we're gonna disconnect it. Um, you would wanna of course hit the stop button after your charge, but we're just gonna disconnect our battery first. And we just set the battery aside. So at this point with this whole setup, now that this is all wired in, you could just leave this in and to turn off the unit, just hit the off button on your power supply and then unplug it from the AC. Now, if you want, you can just store this away on your pit table, um, in your pit bag, if you've got space to leave it all wired in, but you don't necessarily need to disconnect the charger every time you wanna use it. And again, it's worth noting that this end of the AC cable is meant to be plugged in, in and out, where the other end of the cord is not. So before we leave you, let me show you a couple of really quick tips that can save you time, energy, and money. One of the biggest mistakes to do with your battery and your charger is that when the charger is unplugged and off, you plug in your battery to it first and then plug in the charger. That's a quick way to kill your battery, your charger, and possibly your power supply, and it voids your ProTech warranty. So you always, always wanna make sure that your charger or your power supply and your charger are on and regulating voltage before you ever connect in your battery. Another really easy mistake to do, I've done it myself. It's another quick way to short out your battery. Let's say, that your battery is connected in to your charger like this, your charge lead. Now, an easy mistake to do is to disconnect your charge lead from the charger and not this point right here. So let's pretend this is connected in and we disconnect the charge lead at the charger. If these charge leads are just hanging out bare like this. If they touch together, they're going to short and it's a good way to damage your battery. I hope this video has been useful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments or we missed something, go ahead and leave that down below. And if you would like more information, check out our links down there as well. My name is Brett with A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.